There is much in Haider that deserves a standing ovation. Let's start with the courage of director Vishal Bhardwaj. Hamlet is one of Shakespeare's most difficult and ambiguous texts. It's also his longest, with 4,042 lines that take over four hours to deliver. Hamlet in itself is a beast to be tamed. This is the first song of the song of the song. It's always started. Now it's about it. Vishal and his co-writer, the acclaimed Kashmiri journalist Bashar Ratpir, transplant the play to Kashmir. So Hamlet plays out against a socio-political tragedy that has been wrought over six decades. And that has a Rashomon-like quality. The heroes and villains change according to who is telling the tale. The result is a film that is problematic and far too long, but also thrillingly ambitious and powerful. The action takes place in 1995. There is something rotten in paradise. Pura Kashmir Ked Khana Hai, a character remarks. Haider, played by Shahid Kapoor, returns home from Aligarh. His father, a doctor who tries to save the life of a militant, has been taken prisoner by the army. His house has been razed to the ground. His mother, Ghazala, played by Tabu, has moved into his uncle's house. The air is thick with deceit. Even old friends have turned traitors. Haider, the poet, slowly transforms into Haider, the murderer. Heather was almost entirely shot in Kashmir, but Vishal isn't interested in presenting the picturesque tourist spots. Instead, we see narrow lanes, unadorned homes, swathes of snow which turn red as the bodies pile up. Vishal doesn't flinch from brutality. Men are tortured, murdered, abducted by Indian forces, while women weep and a strange madness envelops the land. It's horrific. It's also stretched and structurally disjointed. At one point, a romantic song randomly interrupts the flow. The Kashmiri accents are inconsistent. In places, the narrative meanders and Vishal seems to be losing his grip. At times, I got restless and wondered if perhaps the makers had bitten off more than they could chew. But the one thing that doesn't falter is the performances. K.K. Menon, whose immense talent is wasted in films like Raja Natwarlal, returns to form here as the conniving advocate who slyly covets his brother's wife. Babi hai meri wo. Babi jaan hai Irfan Khan, playing the militant Rudar, brings an unflashy competence to the story. In the beginning, Shahid seems out of his depth. After all, this is one of the toughest roles in literature, one that actors like Sir Lawrence Olivier and Kenneth Branagh have wrestled with. But slowly, Shahid comes to inhabit Heather, veering from rage to jealousy to madness in a heartbeat. Mic testing, one, two, three, hello. Awaaz aari hai aap logo? Hello, 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 hello. And towering above them all is Tabu, magnificent as the mother who aches, loves, and ultimately loses. At the heart of Haider is the love affair between a passionate, complex woman who seeks a sliver of happiness amidst her overwhelming circumstances, and her son, who both loves her with an unnatural intensity and hates her for her betrayal of his father. Vishal handles the Oedipal undertones with exquisite daring and understanding. This relationship powers the film. Heather must be seen for this alone. Go into the film knowing that it's problematic and unwieldy, and that it is one side of the story. Kashmiri pundits get a token mention, and after being cast as the villain, the Indian army gets a line of praise for their handling of the disastrous floods in Kashmir. Those are stories that perhaps other filmmakers will choose to tell. But I can guarantee that you will emerge from Haider shell-shocked. And when was the last time a Hindi film did that to you? I'm going with three and a half stars. Starting October 8th, Film Companion will bring you all the buzz and action from the 16th Mumbai Film Festival. So subscribe to Film Companion to get your film fix.